I'm Caitlin Matson, and this is The Green Room. Dr. Rayvon Moore leads the Wichita Chamber Chorale. They are joining forces with the Arise Ensemble, which is led by Sean Chastain. And they are presenting a concert of gospel music and spirituals next weekend, April the 5th and the 7th. Um, hello, Rayvon, how are you? I'm doing well, Caitlin. How are you? Good to see you. It's so great to see you. Always a delight to have you on. You're a very busy man. Not only do you lead the Wichita Chamber Chorale, but you're the head of choral studies at Friends University. Yes. Yes. It's been uh it's been an exciting time. This season has been very busy. Um I was just joking with someone saying that I don't know who created the schedule until I realized it was me, you know. <laughs> but we had a uh Singing Quakers had an outstanding home concert last weekend, uh this past weekend. And so I'm looking forward to uh, the concert with Arise um, that the Wichita Chamber Chorale is putting on next weekend because it's some really soul-stirring music. Yes, uh, and I we talked a little bit um, off the air about what spirituals and just kind of touched the surface mm -hmm. about all of these incredible arrangements of, of gospel music and spirituals that are out there and some really well-known names attached to them arranger moses hogan for instance yes um, absolutely also uh jester hairston and um Uzi brown and um glenn burley and um really just some fantastic some fantastic um artists as well as stacy gibbs who is a dear friend of mine and he did an arrangement of the spiritual uh, way over in beulah land and it is it is a powerhouse spiritual, and um, this music is music that really is for all of us. And so I'm glad that WCC is able to partner with Arise and for us to present um, really this authentic American folk music, because that's what it is. In the Wichita Chamber Chorale, um, typically we're expected to hear a requiem, a mass, mm -hmm. um, you know, an evening of sacred classical music. From a mm -hmm. bunch of, you know, dead people, let's be honest. <laughs> Not that we don't love it. Right, uh, right. But this is a little bit new. This is a little bit different. And the Arise Vocal Ensemble is a gospel ensemble. It was an ensemble formed specifically to celebrate the music of Black composers mm -hmm. and performed by a predominantly Black choir. Right. Absolutely. And um, what I love about the foundation and the history of the Rise Ensemble is that it was created to, in order to preserve the music of African Americans. And what I love to see in the ensemble today is that it is a very diverse ensemble. And so there are all sorts of races and nationalities that are a part of that ensemble now. And then when you pair that with Wichita Chamber Chorale, which is a predominantly white ensemble, um, which also, I mean, let's take a look at that. Let's just talk about that and dissect that for a moment. Yeah, you know, yeah. conducted by a black conductor, right? And right. Rise being conducted by a white conductor, and with those two entities able to come together and to just in the spirit of celebration of this music and unity, is really powerful. And um, I'm glad that they were so on board with it. And um, it was kind of as if man, why didn't we think to do this sooner? You know, so uh, I'm glad we're doing it now. Uh, but tell us again, uh, where are these performances? When are they? Do we need tickets at the beforehand? We need a logistical rundown. Yes, oh no, absolutely. So we have two performances, uh, the first being April 5th at 7 p.m. And that's going to be at Plymouth Congregational Church. And then our second performance is April 7th. Um, at 3 p.m. at Aldersgate United Methodist Church on the west side. And tickets can be purchased online at wichitachamberchorale.org, or they can be purchased at the door. So Friday night and Sunday afternoon performances. Yes, yes absolutely. wichitachamberchorale.org for further information and uh, to get tickets yes. in advance. Uh, we're going to take a, a break. We're actually going to listen to uh, a spiritual arranged by Moses Hogan. Uh, you want to give a little introduction to Elijah Rock? Yeah, Elijah Rock, um, particularly Moses Hogan's arrangement, you can really um, feel the the spirit being stirred by the speaker. And so that's why you hear kind of the, the excitement of, 
hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus, throughout it um, as it starts to ramp up where that spirit is kind of taking over and that person starts to really feel their soul being stirred. And it's such a powerful arrangement. And so we hope that folks enjoy it. Elijah Rock, arranged by Moses Hogan, and that was the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, conducted by Moses Hogan, and a oh. CD of spirituals um, that he conducted for that, that group. And we get to experience spirituals, gospel music, with the Wichita Chamber Chorale and the Arise Ensemble, led mm -hmm. by Dr. Rayvon Moore and Sean Chastain. Uh, this is The Green Room, and Rayvon is here with me to talk all about this upcoming concert, which is not this weekend, but next weekend, which still blows my mind that April's so soon. It is. I know. <laughs> it kind of shocked me too. And I thought, oh, wow. You know, Easter is upon us, folks. You know, I, Easter's early, right? It feels early to me. Yes. April yeah. feels early. Everything feels early. We even <laughs> had a, a, a leap day thrown in there this year. Right. Everything's early. <laughs> Living in a time oh, vortex. Oh, that's true. And, and it was snowing outside today. Who <laughs> even knows what what day it is, what parallel universe we've jumped to. <laughs> but we do know excellent music is being made in Wichita. That's uh, right. Yes. And uh, I just want to reiterate the importance of this particular concert and uh, the collaborative efforts of the Arise Ensemble and the Wichita Chamber Chorale. Uh, do you know how long the Arise Ensemble has been performing? When were they formed? You know, I actually don't know that. Um, I know that WCC we're in our 46th season, so really already trying to plan for a 50th. Um, you know, it might be just as long. I'm not sure, but I know that they've been around for a very long time. Um, but I'm really thrilled that, you know, I was just telling one of my colleagues that putting this concert together kind of has just been a labor of love because it's something about, you know, connecting with your heritage and also bringing other folks apart in that journey and really realizing um, and remembering that this music was founded and started from a very dark place, you know, um, but yet there are spirituals that are of jubilation and they're jubilees. And so mm. there's you know, excitement and and there are spirituals that are in code and then there are spirituals that are mournful and and sorrowful and then there are work songs. I mean, there's just a variety and a wealth of of information and feelings throughout. And so I really do hope that people will come and go on this journey with us. And it's also really powerful that you have these combined choirs, you know, filled with all sorts of different people. And the Arise Ensemble was predominantly an African-American ensemble when it started. Now it has, you know, all sorts of different races involved. And, and you know, Wichita Chamber Chorale, a predominantly white ensemble, coming together um, to experience this music. That You're right. It's, it's, it's very special. It's special for everybody involved. Those who are, you know, learning more about the music, mm -hmm. uh, maybe learning more about the, the sacredness and the depth of what it means right. to communicate these sentiments. Right. Um, it's it's great. Congratulations. Absolutely. Thank you, Caitlin. Yeah. We're, we're looking forward to it. This is, um, I've been looking forward to this one when I we really decided to do this almost a year ago. I mean, that's how early the planning was. So, um, yeah, yeah, we're we're ready. <laughs> April fifth, Friday evening at Plymouth Congregational at seven o'clock, mm -hmm. and then Sunday afternoon at three o'clock at Aldersgate. So you have, uh, you know, you don't have to drive across town. How That's convenient. Right. Yeah, we're coming to you, everybody. We're coming to you. <laughs> coming to a church on your side of town, the Wichita <laughs> Chamber Crowd. <laughs> Have a wonderful weekend and um just good luck on all of your music. Uh, you are you are a very busy man. You do a bit of everything, and we're so grateful for you as you are now what in your third or fourth My year? Fourth year, yeah. Here in Wichita. Aren't we lucky? Well, I feel very lucky and, and blessed to have folks like you in, as part of this community. And um, I just love being here. We, we love this city very much. And we have a thriving arts community, as you know. Yes, we, we do. Yeah. Go out and enjoy a Rise Ensemble and the Wichita Chamber Chorale next weekend, Friday and Sunday. Ravon, thank you so much and have wonderful concerts. Thank you, Caitlin. Appreciate you.